Once upon a time, in a faraway land called Golgong, there lived a man called Poppy Tractor and Nanny Cheryl. One day, they decided to get into Poppy's magical golden ute, and they were going to visit their special grandchildren, Princess Kenzie, Prince Atticus, and Princess Anna Grace. But poor old Poppy found he had no money to put petrol in his ute. Cheryl said, why don't you go to the bank? Poppy said, which bank? Cheryl said, you idiot. On his way home from the bank, Poppy ran into a mysterious old man who tricked Poppy into buying some magical bottle tops. He said they would grow into a magical beer stalk. When he got home, Cheryl was furious and she threw the bottle caps into the bin and sent him to bed with no beer or jiggy jig. That night, when everyone was asleep, something magical happened. The bottle tops started growing and growing and growing until the very next morning, they discovered a giant beer stalk that reached right up into the sky. Poppy knew that at the top of the beer stalk lived a fearsome giant. The giant had stolen Poppy's treasure. His magical carton of beer that replenished itself whenever it was finished, his magical set of lawn bowls that landed right near the kitty whenever he wanted, and his special stack of black label penthouses that he used all the time. Poppy decided to get into his magical golden ute and drive up to the top of the beer stalk to get his treasure back. When he got up to the top of the beer stalk, he discovered a giant reading one of his black label penthouses. He decided to hide until the giant fell asleep. After the giant had fallen asleep, Poppy snuck out to grab the treasure. But he discovered two puppies guarding the treasure. So he gave them a snack. And as he was sneaking off, Poppy accidentally knocked over a bottle of moisturiser the giant was using to read the magazine, and he woke up. He bellowed, fee fi fo fum to steal my stuff, you must be dumb. If I eat some bubble gum, I'll blow a bubble from my bum. Poppy tried to kill the bubblegum-eating mongrel of a giant, but he just couldn't do it. So he ran down the beer stalk as fast as his poor old knee replacements could carry him. When he got to the bottom, Poppy drank the beer stalk as quick as he could and the giant could not get back down ever, ever again. Poppy was so happy to be back home with his treasure. He found an old TAB ticket in his pocket and found that he'd won a quaddy. So Poppy Tractor, Nanny Cheryl and the Grateful Puppies were able to visit Princess Kenzie, Prince Atticus and Princess Anna Grace after all. After that, Cheryl bought Poppy beers whenever he wanted and let him hold the remote control and they lived happily ever after. No smile and you're furious. <laughs>